Can I go look? Oh, I can't go through that door. Boo! Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, there's that little detail too. Boarding is now complete. To set the doors to lock. The train brake is used for normal line operations. Due to the size and weight of this train, small amounts of traction should be used to overcome initial friction and prevent overpowering the electrical system. Wow, it's like they reused the uh, voiceovers for this. Come on, come on, let's go. Surely this train can do better than this. I have no amps. Oh, come on. Sometimes the tutorials are a little confused. Oh, you think so? It's not letting me change the brakes. The only thing it'll let me touch right now is the throttle. There it goes. Now we're rolling, we can apply more power, and focus can be diverted towards achieving a desired speed. Sometimes you have to roll the throttle all the way back to zero or off so that it can I'm reset. Is a method used to easily move without engaging power. There's a short distance between here and your next stop, so be sure to manage the train and prevent overspeeding. Speed limit's like eighty. Screw you! Full speed, baby! It's not actually telling me where my next stop is. I notice. <laughs> Whee! Oh, this train leans into curves. Awesome! Uh, hold on a second. Pop up. I don't know how to make it go away. There. What is this? Winter Park to DC. Oh, and then DC back to Winter Park. Woo! Hmm. Huh. Well, Nicole points out I could blow 270 bucks and get an overnight trip to. Uh, D.C., fart around in D.C. for a day, and then come back, be home the next evening. Hang on. What? <laughs> no, I don't want to go that far. I don't think I want to brave the New York subway. <clears throat> She's always tempting me with these ideas. That is tempting. I'd have to I'd have to abuse some sort of drug to stay awake that much, but or I guess I could sleep on the train too, but might bother people with my snoring. We are on the final approach to Gimundum, and we'll soon need to start applying a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable stop. Oh, wow. 
Over speed. <laughs> Whoops, a daisy. <laughs> Screw the people. Yeah, they should be they should be happy they're on my train to begin with. Go to hell. I personally would find it hilarious to be on a train that jolts to a stop and kicks up speed really fast. <laughs> Actually, Amtrak does that, so... Oh good, it counted that. Like before, unlock the doors to allow passenger boarding to commence. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, let's go check out the car. Uh button? Which button? Oh yeah, that button. Nope, nope. There we go. Get off your ass. Oh, you bastard. Let me off this train. Ah, let me out. Damn tutorial. They won't let me open the door. That's some bullshit. Concludes all the basics of this locomotive. Ting! <laughs> Yay! I get meaningless points. I think there's another locomotive. We'll find out. <laughs> Introduction. Welcome to this DB PBZFA control car in DB Traffic Regulatory. During this brief introduction, we will go through the startup, stopping, and passenger door operation. Climb aboard to get started. Hee <laughs> Aha! Oh, this is a fancy train. Very fancy. Eh, the tutorial can wait. We're going to look around. Ooh, look at this. It's all fancy. Oh, it's a double-decker. Ah, let me in there. It denies me. This tutorial's screwing with my mind. Ha-ha, <laughs> can't stop me. This is cool. It's like the sun rail. Okay, fine. I'll go drive your stupid train. The battery will power up the control desk and allow you to interact with it. It's important to use the correct light configuration when the train is operational. A lot of your time will be spent in the driver's seat. Gee, it's the same voiceovers again. The brake key confirms that the train is in control from this control car. Yeah, yeah. To get the train up and running, set the reverser. Now activate the pantograph so that it rate. The locomotive is now ready to be energy. Headlights are important. <laughs> glance of the platform to ensure all is safe and then unlock the doors. Ah, screw safety. Get aboard. Get on now or you're not boarding. 
That's right, my minions. Get aboard the death train. I mean the fun train. <clears throat> oh, I see. The uh, actual locomotive is on the other end. Boarding is now complete. So set the doors to lock. The train brake is used for normal line operations. Due to the size and weight of this train, small amounts of traction should be used to overcome initial friction and prevent overpowering the electrical system. Traction this, pal. We're doing this again, huh? God damn it. <clears throat> go faster. There we go. Weird controls. Now we're rolling, we can apply more power, and focus can be diverted towards achieving a desired speed. Coasting is a method used to easily move without engaging power. Wait a minute, how do you have a train a short distance between here and your with next stop? no so locomotive? Manage the train and prevent over -speeding. speeding? We can do that. Alright, Nico is our resident German. Tell me, how did they do on the uh, scenery? Because, you know, I, I assume you've been to this exact place. <laughs> it looks German. All right, good enough. I'll take it. applying a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable stop. Small amount, huh? Oh shit. Speed limit. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, they'd never let me drive a train in real life. Oh, yeah? Cool. Doop, doop. <laughs> oh, well, that counts. <clears throat> like before, unlock the doors to allow passenger boarding to commence. All these rails and no other trains. There's like, oh, of course it won't let me go over there. It looks like at least three lines, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen rails there. <laughs> Good work. That concludes all the basics of this control car.
Yeah, I got an achievement. MSB Trio Triumph. <laughs> Nothing there and no train. That's uh, the uh, that's the Denver experience. Okay, let's do service now. Oh, I think I screwed up. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, cool. Uh, let's do this one. That was fun. It has no horsepower or attractive effort. What? Huh, weird. All stops, limited stop. Yeah, let's do limited. Oh, okay, that's just a control car. Then the beast at the other, other end is doing the work. I get it. Now, will they let me wander around in this train? Yes, they will. <laughs> oh, what? I thought I opened the doors. I opened the wrong doors. Well, yeah, they'll live. Sorry, guys, the engineer is farting around. You'll have to wait. Wait a minute, what's that? Ooh la la, this is first class. Aw, oh, can't get out there. Standard class. You know, I'm walking face first into a lot of glass here. I don't know, that is kind of tempting to go on a little misadventure to Washington. Just be gone overnight. Goof off in D.C. for the day. Ride the trains. And come home. Okay, enough wandering around. Shut the door. Aww. The second man gets a seat, but all he gets to do is uh, sit behind the driver and do nothing. <laughs> I guess he can play with the uh, fuses if he wants. I can't read a word of that, so we're going to assume it says, well, if he's a good guy, he can drive this train now. Hey, don't take this away from me, Nico. God damn it, I unlocked the doors. Did I miss a control? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I forgot to, like, turn shit on. Okay, that's on. That's on. That's not working.
Oh, it just goes back to okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I think the train's being an asshole. Alright, what did I screw up? Brake release? What the... Uh oh. There we go. Reverser's got to be on neutral. Whoa, that's a lot of cars. Huh. Anyone, anybody want a generic white car? Because there's, there's just a few there. Jesus. No wonder the frame rate was dropping. That is a long-ass train. Lots and lots of cars. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a decent ride. It's still just an overnight jaunt. <clears throat> Nicole's still showing me train trips I could take. She's trying to get me to leave my cave while she's gone on her trip. <laughs> Oh, they're going to be waiting a while. <laughs> Oops. No, no, no. Brake turns off. Throttle goes up. Fucking train. Oh, reverser. Reverser to forward. God damn it. Brakes are all released. Reverse are set to forward. There it goes. I don't know why it does... Wait, no, it's not moving. Game, why you do this? I keep having this problem. What the fuck? Ah, oh, what a wimpy horn. Yeah, it something's really wrong. Asdiff, how's it going, man? Long time no see. Move, you filthy whore. Damn it. Okay, the doors are locked. Hmm. Maybe set the brakes, then release them. Set the electric brake, and then release that. Nope.
Oh. <laughs> well. This route's awesome. Oh, neat. I don't know what any of these are. Ooh, these buttons work. Well, some of them... Oh, jeez. Well, I guess they don't really work. You know, that's true. We did not praise Cthulhu. I don't get it. The reverser's on forward. The brakes are off. Everything's powered. It's got 15,000 volts. I am not understanding. <laughs> what does this do? These buttons light up, but the others don't. Hmm. I'm just going to restart. Is something broken? God damn it. All right. Glad you remembered that because I completely spaced it. What do these buttons do? Shunting control. That sounds exciting. Come here. I'm going to shunt you. Ah! Fuck seeing where we're going, man. Who needs it? We'll fly by instruments. <laughs> That's a hell of a blind right there. <laughs> Wait, did the doors ever close? Maybe that's why it wouldn't... Uh... Oh, maybe that was it. Okay. Train brakes released. Reverse are set to forward. Channel throttle. Nothing. Maximum throttle. Nothing. This is stupid. I just went through the tutorial on this and ran this.
Look, this is even changing. Look at this indicator. It's going up and then back down when I change the throttle. Um, I did okay in the last one, as if, but I just, uh, I had a bug, so I quit playing. Yeah, seriously, it's acting like the train's not running. But it's making sound, and the door's opened, and... Yeah, I don't know. I guess we're not driving this one. Signal light's on. And it's got my destination marker six miles away, so it's can it thinks everything's fine. Oh, and there's that car train. Uh, let's see if I can convince it I want to abandon control of it. See if it can drive it. Oh, shit. I need to open the doors, don't I? Master switch off. That's not right. Shouldn't this be lit up? Yeah, the pantograph's not even up. Oh, yeah, it is. Tail lights. I guess this is set. Anagraph up. Train brake set to run. Brakes released. Why did I just get points for that? If that's what it was, I'm going to laugh. So framey here. God damn it. It does nothing. Great job, Dovetail.
<laughs> Shut up, Asda. <laughs> this is an autistic train simulator. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Reverse or forward might help. Oops. Holy shit, we got it! I don't know how, but it's moving and I'm not going to complain. Yeah, that was, uh, as if it's got a point, that was an action-packed ten minutes there. Christ. Oops. Speeding. Well, we got to speed to make up time, man. <laughs> Ooh, those are neat little castle things or churches or whatever. Oops. And speeding again. <laughs> I'm not paying anybody shit. Talk all you like. I can't stop you. Never had a politician offer to pay me to shut up. I did have a company offer to pay me to shut up. Then they couldn't decide how they wanted to pay me. Then I told them they, I wanted to pay them to pay me more because they were being fucking cheap. Then they said, fuck you. Then I said, fuck you too. Then they sued me. Then I said, fuck you again. And they backed off. It's kind of funny. Weird company. I think they go by the name CEO Space now. Fucking whores. wonder if that shit for brains is still doing his little shows talking about his dad and using it as cheap uh, motivational speeches that do nothing. Now, they actually had to change their name because of me, too. They used to be called IBI Global. Well, I got uh, a friend of mine scammed me into going to that stupid thing as a ripoff and a, a con. And I wrote a negative article about them and they said, you got to take that down or we're going to sue you. I said, go fuck yourself. And they said, well, we'll refund your, your membership fee, which was several thousand dollars. If you take it down, we'll we'll pay you a thousand a month until we've refunded you. And uh, I talked to a lawyer and he said, fuck that. Tell them to refund you or go away. So I did. And they got huffy about that. And then uh, they made some counteroffer like, well... We found out that you borrowed the money from somebody else and you still owe her for it. So we're going to refund the money to her. And then you still take the thing down. And at that point, I'm like, fuck you. I'm not doing shit. You're not putting money in my pocket. I'm not going to entertain your shit. And so they just ignored me for about a year after that. And then uh, I moved to Florida. And a few months after, they finally... Uh, well, they, went, they went to a court in Alabama for some reason, and filed suit, and they did it in secret, so they didn't bother telling me, and they lied to the court and got a uh, injunction against me from keeping the article published. So, uh, and then they didn't actually serve me the court papers, they just sent me a badly scanned copy of the order of the injunction and nothing else. 
So I actually had to take that, go to an attorney here in Florida, get them to look it up, and they're like, yeah, they're suing you. So I had to go get in touch with their idiot lawyer, say, you fuckers want to actually send me service, or do I tell the court that you're not? And as soon as they realized I was actually going to fight and not just roll over and play dead, they backed off. Oh, am I too quiet? Uh, oh, sorry. Adjust the mic a little. Yeah, they ended up backing off. But because the article stayed up online, IBI Global is a scam. Uh, you can actually still find that to this day. And go look it up if you want. Because the, the article got mirrored. As soon as they started complaining to me, I told people that they were. And so people offered to mirror it. And they did. And the court couldn't order other randos on the internet to take down their copies. So the IBI people realized we're kind of fucked. We can't actually get rid of this. So they changed their name. And apparently they've also changed their business model. They now operate... They used to just do conventions uh, on land. <laughs> and they had to... Uh, they had to switch to... They they rented some stupid... Or bought a cruise ship of some kind. They have their stupid seminars on international waters now. So people can't complain and, and sue them for the obvious ripoff they're pulling. It's great. I'm very proud of the fact that I helped force that. So if you're out there, Bernie Dorman, suck my dick. Just saying. If you want to sue me again, do it, bitch. I got money this time. You mean I can't tip the train? That's some bullshit. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're speeding again. It's like cow tipping, only with an exciting piece of metal. Yeah, that doesn't make the news anymore, Troubleshooter. <laughs> uh, I always overdo it with the brakes. Oh, shit! Bye-bye, <laughs> stop. We'll, we'll see you later. I missed that one by a country mile. <laughs> <That's terrible. laughs> it gave me points for that. Interesting. Sure, let's see him. <laughs> well, you know, I got some of the doors lined up with the platform. <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. How you doing, Turbo? Big cat, what you doing? You have food. There's still food left on that plate. Ugh, such a baby horn. We gotta do some American trains next, because this is... These horns are just pathetic. How come? I thought that was going in like yesterday. Boy, Turbo. Oh, not this shit again.
God, this is obnoxious. How the fuck do you start this fucking thing? Man, whoever set the model up for this is an idiot. There we go. The reverser set itself to neutral. You guys saw me set that thing to forward. Ah. Uh... So in other words, this is modeled correctly and accurately for how the real train were. Whoever designed this train's an idiot. My apologies to whoever modeled it. You're not an idiot. You did build a confusing train, though. Jerk. Stupid safety systems. <laughs> this is nothing even resembling speedy service. <clears throat> if I were driving a Japanese train, they'd have fired me. A, well, they'd have fired me at the first stop. Be like, Wilfie, look, we appreciate your enthusiasm, but get the fuck out. It's your fault that our trains are more than 20 seconds behind schedule. That's fucked us up for the year. You're lucky we don't kill you. <laughs> there, at least we're moving f well, faster now. Well, moving at all. Stupid train. <laughs> you know, I'm really glad the people who really run these things in real life know what they're doing. Oh, it's a nice bonus. Hee <laughs> Really? Throttle? Oh. No, brakes are set. Why is this not... It's fucking ridiculous. There we go. I have never had this much trouble getting a locomotive to run. It's just crazy. I knew how to drive the train we physically rode on a couple or a few weeks ago. Like, I actually knew, like, the controls he was using and the names for them. He was surprised I knew what the reverser was. But, you know, this was... Just today, this train has to be an asshole. It's because people are watching. Oh, that's a good view there. <laughs> Encode that, Xvid. <laughs> the camera is so trippy. Yeah, the controls are a bit weird. <clears throat> it does feel like they couldn't decide between super realistic and, you know, noob friendly. Because I'm definitely a noob. Alright, we gotta speed a little tiny bit to get it to get, try to get there on time. Hey. 
Quick, anybody see any cows? Uh, OBS. Not XFIT, I meant X264. <laughs> You're not going to let one un one spoken word wrong go unchallenged, are you? Oh, poop, speed limit coming up. <laughs> Ow. That's true, we are. And again, I have to set the throttle to zero before it'll let me go back up. It's like any time you touch the brakes, you have to throttle to zero. Even when you're not touching the brakes anymore. Okay, next stop. I started slowing down way too early. I think I overshot again. <laughs> Bye, train platform. Well, actually, that was better than the last stop. Load passengers. I don't think they want to get on this train after what they just saw. Is that building on fire? It really looks like that building's on fire. Oh well, not my problem. Yeah, that tree's dying. That's crazy. Too many particles. Oops. <clears throat> All right, let's see if I can get this jalopy moving this time. I'm rolling backwards again. This is so annoying. Now the brakes aren't doing anything. <clears throat> All 
All right, release the brakes. Reverser, neutral, forward. Now go. I am so sick of this train. We're not doing that anymore. What a piece of shit. Tempted to refund that. That's disappointing because it's a nice line. All right. Somerset annoyed me. We did Long Island. Let's try this one. Oh, that's British. Fuck that. All right, we're doing some CSX. Eh. We'll go tickle an SD40 for a while. The coal ones are kind of neat because you actually uh, run to you, go, you actually pick up the coal, so you have to run under the uh, under the little dispenser at less than ten miles an hour, so it loads up all the cars. Yeah, we'll do the oil one. That'll be fun. I'll hit up their forum later today and go complain about the the, the shitty ass train. It, it's just ridiculous. Come on, load faster. I can hear it. Come on. There we go. Ah, oh, neat. I've got a second man here, too. One second. Fix that. There we go. Back. Okay. Ooh, nice. Got a second... Second locomotive there. Let me throw. Damn it. Ah, eh, fine. Who cares? That's weird. I have a Santa Fe engine, too. That's the one that I've got. I only have the one. I have a very small model set. My late uncle gave it to me when I was still in my teens, and it all still works. 